Hey, good afternoon and welcome back to my garage. Um, this video is going to be about how to build an e-bike. And uh, I'm actually going to build one up in the video. And uh, this will be the one I built up. Just brought it back. Uh, it's brand new. This is going to be for my wife. Uh, and this is the uh, the hub and all that. And I'm going to show you the unboxing of all that. So I'm going to show you how you do it. Uh, but I wanted to show you before we get started. This is what I've already built up. This is my mountain bike I converted. You see the big hub in the front. That's a 1,000 watt 48 volt motor up there. It's got a lot of torque. It will push this bike between 28 and 30 miles an hour, or pull it in this case, and uh, run them. It will run about 30 miles or so. You don't even have to pedal. It's, it's really awesome. The bag in the middle here, these are all the, the controller. I'm not going to pull it out and show you, but all the associated wiring. Uh, you can see the wiring harness I have here that come up around. It goes up front to all the controls. Up front on the handlebars, you have to uh, replace both brake levers. There's a wire that comes off each one of those. That's to kill the motor uh, if, you, uh, if you have the throttle on and you hit a brake. So that way you're not fighting the motor with the brakes. Safety. And then uh, the controller itself goes on there and then the throttle. So yeah, you got to replace all that up there. All the wires run back in the harness I showed you. On the crank down here, this is for the pedal assist so you can tell if you're pedaling. I'm not quite sure what it does. Um, I do have it hooked up. But this thing's got so much torque and stuff and goes so fast, you can be pedaling full out low gear and not keep up with it. So, but it's there. I connected it because it's there. In the back, I have a battery. This is actually a, a bike rack, and inside here is a 20 amp hour, 48 volt battery. And uh, got a lot of room, extra room in there for some for some storage and stuff too. It's laying along the bottom in there, but it's a convenient place. And I put an Anderson connector here, so I can quick disconnect here, latch that, and it comes off. I've got the charger in there as well. I won't go into all the parts because I'm going to do that in the unboxing, but this is what it looks like. I've road tested it. It works fine. I'm really impressed with it. So I'm going to take the same kit and apply it to this bike here. I'm going to have to take that white wall tire off this rim and put it on the new rim that's got the motor on it. We'll see how all that works out, but this is it. So hang with me here. I'm going to do an unboxing, and then I'll show you step-by-step uh, -step how I convert this bike to an e-bike. Okay, so I already spared you for me just opening the box up. But the, when you open up the box, this is what you'll see. It comes with a packing list, a little QC stamp, and shows you all the parts and that they passed. I'm pretty sure they don't sell any. They don't all say pass. Uh, but in any case, so I'll open this box up in a second here. It's got a lot of this stuff in it. But this is how the uh, the rim and the hub comes packed. Uh, you got to be careful. This thing is where the wire comes out. And, uh, there's a hall sensor in there and stuff. But uh, first thing I'm going to have to do in this case is uh, I'll be taking this tire off and putting on the white wall from the other bike. But this is how it comes. Uh, it's in the box. There's some instructions down there. There's a few more little pieces in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to spare you the details. I'm going to go ahead and take everything out in the box and, and line them up for you so you can see what's involved. Okay, so I got everything out of the uh, the boxes and uh, laid out here. So again, uh, this has still got the plastic on it. This is a 1,000 watt hub uh, that, that goes on the front tire. Uh, it replaces the front tire on your bike. Uh, you just replace the whole thing, and in my case, I'm going to put the rubber from the new tire on there because it's the nice white wall uh, onto this rim. So we have that at least that part matching. Uh, this is the bag. This is for the controller and all the wiring to fit in, and that'll attach to the frame of the bike. Um, this is some stuff. It's some tie wraps, various tie wraps, and the stuff to make the wire and harness to wrap it when you got all the wires rotted neatly. Here's the uh, throttle. You can see this. This turns like a normal throttle would be. This goes on the right hand side it will plug into the controller this right here uh i don't i'll use the fuse part on here but this is the part to hook up to the battery i don't like the way they've done all this but uh, I'll, I'll build my own cable for the battery i'll show you that when the time comes uh here's the actual controller itself this goes in the bag and it's got all the connectors for the uh, brake inputs the throttle input you know it's also got the uh the, uh, the connector that goes to the motor it's also got the connector that goes to the little lcd control panel so this is the brains of the guy right here. This will go in the bag. This is the, the pedal assist sensor. I'm not going to be able to put this on this particular bike to, because of the way the crank is. As I said earlier, I'm not quite sure what it does for you. I know what it's supposed to do. I've got it on my bike uh, that I built, and I don't really notice it doing a whole lot. Uh, it's just because it's a you know, front-wheel drive and a rear wheel, and uh, I don't think it really does much for you. I don't know if I have to have it plugged in and just in the bag uh, to make it work. I don't believe you have to have it connected. Uh, these are the two brake levers, and again, what you see on here is these wires coming off. These are safety, so when you uh, depress the brakes, it will cut the motor. And then uh, some various grips that will replace your existing grips. This right here is just an adapter if your handlebars aren't the right diameter. This kind of, you know, 
mates up and it has a fuse. So here's all the electrics, so, so that's kind of it. So the job is uh, to put all this on the bike. So what I'm going to do, first of all, like I said, I'm going to switch the, the rubber over on the tire, and then I'll turn it upside down and start to mount that front wheel. First things first there, okay? So uh, stay with me. I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. Well, I got the tire changed over, and I got it mounted to the hub, and the hub is on the bike. I did test this hub out uh, because I have the other controller all hooked up. I plugged my stuff into this one. I just undid the cable. So the hub does work. Uh, when I was showing you all the equipment a minute ago, I forgot to show you this guy. It was down in there. I didn't show it to you. This is the actual controller. Uh, well, that is, it's not the controller. It's the display. And, uh, and anyway, it connects to that, and it shows you miles per hour, how much battery charge you have left, and different things like that. Anyway, so here's the wheel on there. So I'm going to turn the bike right side up. And then next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hook up the brake levers and throttles. I won't show you the detail of putting those on there, but I will put them on there and show you how I did it. Okay, I got the uh, trimmer on this side. I got the, uh, I had to take this off, and then I put the uh, left brake on there, and you see the wire coming off, and that's the reason why I have to replace this assembly. Uh, I got to do the same on the right side. I actually got the instrument cluster on here as well. I've got to take all this stuff off and then replace the brake. Put this back on and then put the throttle on there and then the end cap so i'll come back when i have that by the way if i haven't mentioned already uh please hit like and subscribe if you like this video i appreciate that it does help me out pretty much got the top end done here i've got the uh i got the throttle on you can see it this is the shifter it's the only thing i like about this thing it's a little hard for this thing is right here with the shifters it'd be better if this was a lever and you could bring that all the way up but it's just the nature of what we got here uh here's the brake lever on so i've got all the wires we come around the front side here so I got them all on the thing, and I've got them ready to go down neatly here uh, into one bundle. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get the uh, con the uh, the main controller out that feed the wires to the motor and everything, get those routed through the bag, and then wrap the harness, and then I'll try to tuck everything away. I'm getting real close to being done here. Then I'll need to install the bike rack and, and the battery. But uh, anyway, that's where I'm at so far. Okay, let me show you what I'm doing here. I've uh, I've got all the wires you know hooked up, and what I've done... So if you see the bag, I got it set here. I've got all the wires run in the way they got to go. And I'm taking this uh, cable wrap and I'm, I've got the wires bundled and they'll end up fastening here and then following the frame down underneath and then come back up in into the bag and I'll, and I'll tuck all this back up in the bag and make it look neat. But that's what I'm doing. You got to kind of get all these wires. You got to leave enough slack in them uh, for the, uh, the handlebars to turn. You don't want to be pulling them tight. So uh, I'm going to get this wrap first and then I'll get it all, I'll get it all, uh, tucked away neatly and show you what I got when I'm done there. So that's where I'm at so far. Okay, I got all the wires run. Uh, got plenty of slack so when you turn the handlebars, uh, you know, um, they don't get tight. And I'm just following this, the brake lines down here. I come down underneath the bag and back in the bag. So I got everything tucked in there. The only thing I need to do now is put the luggage rack on and the battery pack. And I'll be able to give this thing a test drive. But this is kind of what it looks like here. Let me walk around the other side. And uh, you can see the controller stays in the bag. And that's the profile it's going to have. And I'm going to put the luggage rack on. And we're going to give this thing a, a, a run. But so far, so good. Okay. So I got the battery mounted. All the wires tucked away. Um, this battery I, I took off my bike over there. The one for this bike won't be until Tuesday. But it'll look the same. It'll go in the case. Uh, and uh, a little Anderson connector I put on the battery. It connects here and then the fuse right there. And then down into the bag. But this is it. This is what it looks like. Um, I am done. I've ridden around the block a few times. This thing, this one goes 29 miles an hour. Uh, and that's without any pedal assist. I, in fact, when it's going that fast, you can pedal all you want. You never catch up to the, uh, the speed anyway. So, But uh, that's what it looks like. So you can see the wiring harness. Everything comes down here. It's wrapped neatly in this uh, thing here, right along where the brake wires come down and goes up into the bag. And so uh, the battery's connected. So it is. So this bike is a uh, thousand watt, uh, you know, with a uh, 48 volt, 20 amp hour battery. And uh, basically got about $800 in this thing, 850. If you look at the kit, the battery, which was the most expensive part, and the bike itself was 250. Then the bike rack was about 15. So you can't, uh, you can't really buy a, uh, an e-bike like this with this much power and uh, battery capacity on such a nice beach cruiser uh, for that kind of money. And it's really not that hard to do. So the bottom line is you can do it yourself. So anyway, please hit like and subscribe. I appreciate it. I'm going to end this video here.